What's up guys? Today we're going to a secret hidden lake and hopefully catch some hybrid. I was down here about three weeks ago and the hybrid... Where are you going? Uh, I'm going fishing, bro. Cousin pulled up behind me there. But um, I was down at this lake a few weeks ago and the shad respond to hybrid were just going crazy. So the reason I say this is a secret lake because this lake isn't on Google Maps. It's not a publicly listed lake. You can't Google it and search it. You have to know where it's at and know how to get there. And I do. First, I gotta go pick up my fishing buddy and then we're gonna be on the way. All right, we're picking my buddy up now. He's gotta tell the old lady bye. You guys know how that is. Hopefully if you got an old lady, she don't get salty when you go fishing. Might be why well, I ain't got one. I don't have to worry about that. I just go fishing when I wanna go fishing. It is hot today, guys. It's probably like 85 degrees right now. So I'm hoping when we get down here, the water is going to be warm enough that we can get these hybrid to hit top water. If we can get the hybrid to hit top water, that's going to be awesome. I've never caught hybrid with top water. But I know when you hook them on a crankbait, they pull like a freight train. I can't imagine one coming up slamming that top water plug. <laughs> Kaboom! So last time I uploaded a hybrid video, I had people ask me, what is it hybrid between? So a hybrid is grown on a fish farm and it's hybrid between a white bass and a striped bass. So white bass are kind of small, pretty small. I mean, I've seen them like maybe two or three pounds and striper, you know, they get to like 30, 40, 50, 60 pounds. So hybrid is a mix between the two and hybrid are sterile. So they can't produce. Now they do spawn and they do lay eggs, but the eggs that they lay are 99% sterile. So sometimes, you know, a hybrid might produce and, and make, make eggs that are fertile and have some babies, but it's very rare. All right, you ready to go catch them? Go get them. This is Travis here, guys. Yes, sir. You ever caught a hybrid? No, I never caught a hybrid. They are fun. Trav Bassin. We're going to go get on them, boys. All right, guys, we're on the lake now. It is hot. It's hot out here. Let's go catch some fish, though. There's a bass right there. Or maybe that's a stick. That's a stick. Everything looks like a bass. He nailed it. Guys, I had the camera off because the bite's been slow and my GoPro overheated, but I got one and he slammed the rattle trap. Oh, he just got off. No. Oh, he was right there next to the boat. Guys, that was a big bass. That was about a three and a half pounder I just missed. So it got really hot and the GoPro overheated. The fish quit biting, so I had turned the camera off and that was the first bite we've had all day. So now the camera's rolling. Reaction strike. With the old Strike King rattle trap. Oh, there's the wind. That feels good. Oh, dude, there's fish all under. There's like three fish under the boat right here. That's where I hooked that one at. I think we might have, might have found them. I'm marking more fish right here than I marked all day in a small area. The grass that's coming off the bottom looks different, too. It's a lot redder, which probably means it's got more oxygen in it. Oh, there's one falling up to the boat. That was like a two pounder. I was just reeling in and he's falling it to the boat. Oh, got a bite. Oh, he let go of it. He felt me. Guys, there's some bass blowing up right here. Holy cow. They're chasing some kind of bait fish in here. That's about the fourth or fifth one I've been seeing jump. What? Did you see it? Oh, he's gonna get this. He grabbed it. That was a small one. He was like a, a pound maybe. There was a little feeding frenzy going on right here. There's three bass right under the boat right here. Yeah, this is where all the fish are stacked up at back here. We just gotta figure out how to catch them. And if those were even bass, those could have been hybrid. Oh, I got a bite. I got him. Got him. Come on up here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is a big one. Oh, man. Come on up here. Come on. Daggum, how big is this thing? It's a hybrid, dude. Get the net. Grab the net. Hybrid with a fluke. There we go. Probably. 
Check him out, guys. I called a hybrid with a flute. I said I got this. <laughs> Look at that. That's a good size hybrid, though. He's probably about three and a half pounds. He put up a real good fight. He nailed the fluke, too. I'm working fish at five and seven foot deep. So what I'm doing right now, guys, I'm, I threw it out. It's 24 foot deep right there. And I let it hit the bottom. I'm reeling it really slow to where I can feel it bump in the bottom. And then when I quit feeling it bump, I let it sink back to the bottom again. Ooh. Ooh. Come back and get it again. There they go, they're chasing something. So what's going on right here guys there's a ledge and it comes up and it gets probably like four foot deep and it's 24 foot deep out there so these hybrid are chasing the bait fish up in this cove right here where it's shallow they're chasing them up in the shallows and feeding on them and they'll come up and they'll feed for a few minutes and they'll run back out but I, whenever we got in this pocket i noticed the grass looked different on the fish finder it looked like it was holding a lot more oxygen and i'm seeing a lot of little bubbles float up on top of the water so that probably means that this is the part of the lake that's holding the most oxygen right now and probably the most bait fish and the fish are just stacked up in here oh, oh dang he bit it while i was reeling it up to the boat oh he's got one he's got one is it a hybrid? Let me get the net for you. Take it easy with them, have your drag loose because their mouth is really sensitive. But you got a good hook on there. Oh yeah, that's a hybrid. I'm gonna get him. That's a good hybrid too. He's probably about three pounds. <laughs> All right, you get him over here and then I'll net him. There we go. Yeah, baby. I said I got this. Check him out, boys. That is his first hybrid. First. Yeah. Nice. Check him out. Nice. We were talking about on the way down here. He said he's never caught a hybrid before. I said, we're going to change that today. I'm going to take a picture for you real quick and put him in the live wheel. Hold him out. Hold him out. Make him look big. So we're gonna put them on the live well. I doubt we're gonna take these hybrid home. But if we get stranded down here, guys, I brought my portable grill so we can do a catch and cook. Show you guys what I'm fishing with real quick. Daggum! He's hooked into a straight giant. He's fishing with the same thing though. A little underspin. He's got we got gold flukes on here. This one in, boys. It is working him. These things are so much fun, guys, catching hybrid. A three pound hybrid fights like a six pound bass. <laughs> Put him on up here. All right, there we go. I said I got this. Check him out, guys. He got another one. He's whooping my butt. Oh, yeah. It's fun, ain't it? Yeah. Guys, it's so much fun catching these hybrid with artificial. It's not so much fun catching with live bait, but catching with artificial whenever they hit it, I mean, they slam it. So you guys can see it's 22 foot deep right here. 21 foot. And you see the hybrid are at 8 five and eight seven so we're throwing it out we're letting it sink about eight seconds and then we're starting to retrieve i thought you had another one back there i was about to throw you out the boat <laughs> <laughs> should be one on that point right there this is the kind of stuff i look for guys when i'm bass fishing see how the point comes out with all that grass and stuff looks like a really good spot so the reason bass hang out around stuff like that there's cover for one they can get in it and hide but two, anytime there's a point, they hide out in that point to ambush prey, waiting for bait fish to swim by and then they ambush them. I think I got one. Oh, dude, this is a toad. This is a toad. Oh, he got off. No. 
that was a big one. I was trying to adjust my drag and making sure the camera was on. There went one. There they are. There they are, boys. Did you hook into one? You got one? Oh, he's got one, boys. Probably another hybrid. Jeez. Hey, pull and drag. Hybrid. What was that with the underspin? Another good hybrid. Check it out, boys. You got another one. He's a fatty. That makes four. Is that four now? That's a fish. Oh, I got him that time. Got him that time. There's the bass. Oh, he come off at the boat. I'm having some bad luck today, guys. That's the second one I've had come off. What the hell was that? Oh, that's him right there. Oh my God, that's giant. Yeah, that's a big one. There they are, boys. The birds are diving. Oh, dude. They're all stacked up under the boat right here. Oh yeah, they're thick, dude. Guys, those are all hybrids stacked up under the boat, 12 foot deep. That's crazy. Jeez, dude. They're so stacked up. That's crazy. I've never seen that many fish on this fish finder. Ooh, that felt like a thump. That's a hybrid. God. Oh, he nailed it. Oh, he got off. It hit it as soon as it hit the orange. That was a big one. Oh, it got his. Yeah, I missed it, guys. He got it with a popper. I had just turned my camera off, too. Oh, oh, I got him. I got him. I got a bass, too, dude. With the twitch bait. We're gonna try to boat flip him. Boat flip, got him. Take him off the hook real quick, dude. There's a school of them right there. Try to hurry up, we might catch four or five real quick. All right, guys, we're gonna throw him in the live wheel real quick. Move your foot, because there's a school. There's a school of bass right there, right now, and they're feeding, is what's going on. So we'll see if we can get another one. So guys, the reason I put this twitch bait on here because it looks just like a shad and whenever the shad are coming up, they're darting back and forth really quick trying to get away from the fish and that's exactly what this twitch bait does. Got him that time. Oh, that's why I keep missing him. <laughs> that's why I keep missing him. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out my fishing video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit that like button, drop a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you again soon.